Hey, hey peeps, happy Monday, Mindset Monday. Um, so I found this, re well, there was a recipe I should tell you. Well, I put the um, title that it's pesto. If you like pesto, drop pesto or, or basil or a leaf. Let me know who my pesto peeps are. Now, I knew this recipe from when I was college. My best friend used to make this when we, when we lived in Brooklyn. And I was like, this is the best pesto I ever had. Now that I'm making it fresh, I understand why it could taste like crap when you get it in a restaurant. Like you have to have fresh basil leaves. I bought a basil plant that I just plucked everything off. You have to have fresh garlic. You have to have EVOO, the Rachel Ray is famous for coining that, extra virgin olive oil. You gotta have quality products. So if you are a pesto lover, drop basil or drop a leaf. Let me know who my basil peeps are. I have everything prepped and I'm gonna share the recipe with you. I, so I took the um, basil leaves off of here. It's in the processor. It's two cups of basil leaves um, packed. So I just basically took whatever I could from the plant and then two of the garlic cloves. So what I do is I, I store my garlic in the freezer um, garlic doesn't last that long. You have to have it in a certain like temperature. So if you want garlic, garlic, garlic storage, um, some techniques that I learned. If you're, if you're catching live, by the way, say, Hey, if you're catching the replay, hashtag happy Monday, and I will wish you a happy Monday right back. So you can store garlic in different ways. I had it peeled. So I just chopped it up and put it in this ice cube tray and it's been a phenomenon, 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 very good very good technique. So it's two cups of the packed basil. It's two garlic cloves. I have it in there chopped. And then we have a um, two thirds cup of EVOO. This is extra virgin olive oil. So adding this in here. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, next we have a quarter cup of pine nuts or chopped walnuts. So pine nuts were $12 for a little container. Walnuts were like four. So we have chopped walnuts. It's a quarter cup of chopped walnuts we'll put in there. And then she told me, my bestie who gave me the recipe said, do not put the cheese in when you're mixing, fold it in after or else it gets all icky. So we don't want icky. And then we have one tablespoon of lemon. So I will do that now and squeeze it all over the place. I should use like a actual citrus you know, zester. So has anyone made pesto before? I'm curious. I'm really curious who my pesto peeps are. I think it's going to be delish. I got a um, fresh pasta from the Italian market and I'm going to make this tonight because I think it's delish. So I think I have everything. It's two cups packed basil, two large garlic cloves, one tablespoon of lemon, a quarter cup of pine or walnuts, two thirds cup of extra virgin olive oil. Oh, that's funny, Susan. Uh, okay, so then we're gonna blend this and we're gonna fold in the cheese. So this is gonna be loud. I don't know if I'll continue for this part, but I just wanted to share. Obviously, I'll, I always share the pictures after my stories because I like to share things that I make. And I've just been noticing, I don't know if it's because of all things prices going up it's I feel like it's fresher when you make it at home it's a little bit of a pain in the neck because you have to find I don't know if this is the, you know what I don't have the I don't have the mixer in <laughs> can you tell I'm a beginner I literally think I'm gonna cook all these things that I always forget the most elementary thing so yeah this is not gonna work <laughs> without the mixer in it Duh. so anyway yeah I have to fix this up I'm gonna mix it up I will send you the finished product. I have to get this situated. Let me see if I can do it here. And then uh, if you want the recipe, let me know. Drop a recipe. I think it's going to be fabulous. I have fettuccine, home, uh, homemade. I like homemade fettuccine. So I think that's going to be delicious. Okay, let's see what happens here. Let's see, I'm, I'm mixing up. If you have any questions... I'm like really into Italian recipes. I don't know if that's all I've made so far, but. If you have any questions, let me know. Drop them below while this is mixing. I just need another second and it should be doomed. Yeah, I think. 
think I think it's good. I think it's good. It's a little watery. I think because I didn't have that much basil. So this is what it looks like. It's a very green, green machine. I'm going to let it sit for a little bit because I have to make the pasta and all that. And the other thing with fresh pasta, the fettuccine that I have, you only have to boil it. You boil the water. You only have to cook it for a few, like two minutes. Whereas like that box pasta, I'm like, I can't do box pasta anymore. I'm becoming a pasta snob. So who are my pasta peeps? Let me know. Let me know. So anyway, I know that a lot of people, you know, I drink ketones. I'm doing intermittent fasting. And like, this is definitely not a low carb or keto. I'm not, I'm not keto. I'm not low carb, but I do believe in moderation. I don't like cutting out any food group. I think it's, I think pasta is too delicious to cut out from your life. Moderation, my friends, moderation. So in any case, if you want the recipe, drop a recipe. If you got some value, drop some bells. Let me know what my peeps are. I'm just going to recap real quick. It's two cups packed basil. It is two large garlic cloves, which I have frozen here. It's a tablespoon of a lemon, freshly squeezed. Two thirds cup of extra virgin olive oil. And then we have a quarter cup of the chopped walnuts, or you can use pine nuts. You put that in the food processor and then you fold in the Parmesan cheese after. I hope that you got some value and I will show some pictures when I'm done. Have a good rest of your day. Ciao, ciao.